Access for your business. Now, I've been using Access for a long time. I would say it's been over, well over 16, 17 years, maybe maybe more than that. I don't, I don't remember when I started using it. But um, I wanted to provide some information on how this can be a powerful tool, tool for your business. Now, I'm just going to show the absolute basics right now. And I provided a form below. And if the form doesn't work for some reason because I'm doing this on a blog, I'm going to give you a link to, to the website to use the same form. But I just want to note that you do not have to provide me your email or any information on this form. You can just send the facts. If you want me to get in contact with you later about it, you can provide your email or phone number, however you want to do it. But um, I'm not trying to, to um, get people's emails. I just wanted to show this video. And what, what I would ask is if you could provide details of what you would like to know about it. And I will do another video on that and um, publish it on the, in the same, same blog here. But first of all, so, you, so when you go into Access, you're going to open it up and it gives you some options. Now, there are several options that are, um, that are pre-made pre templates that you can go in there. And they're, and they're good templates. You can use them. But if you want to customize something, to that you can use a template and customize the template but then you can go in there and start start from scratch now some of these templates do require that you have certain uh, tool, certain tools available like share sharepoint and other things while others don't so if you see like a web logo on there you you may not be able to do it unless you unless you're um, in an organization that has sharepoint now i'm just going to start out with just the basics here and just show the different tools and explain what what they're for so just come in here and create you can create a name for it or just continue on now in access you have the different tables and so forth now it opens up with a blank table and you can start creating fields you could also go in here to a, a view. If you have data like in Excel or something, you can also upload the data and it will create a table. I'll, I'll explain that a little bit, but of course if I try to explain everything, it's going to take a long time. So I would go in here and first of all you have a um, an ID number and this number is going to be unique. It's going to be self-generated. So if you want, it's a good idea to have a unique number for each for your data so that you can keep track of it and you can also connect other tables to this if you need to in the future so just creating a simple field I'm just gonna call call it field one alright so in the field you can have a short text, long text. So short text is 255 characters, and it will it will emit at that point. If you need to have a field where they provide information, you can have unlimited um, fields. You could load um, a record for a form. So if you have to put like a message or a note that applies to somebody, you could do that. Also. You could add numbers. Now there are different different types of numbers that you'd have to look at. Doubles is going to be a a general number, and if you if you want to put like decimals, you're going to have to determine which one you may need, like single, or if it's going to be be something else, a decimal, and so forth. The you can also have currency in there as well. You could, you could select the type of currency, euros, dollars, and you can use this field to keep track of, of your finances and so forth if you start creating multiple tables. Now remember you, you have to, when you start out doing a database, you have to actually create a plan. Like right now I have a plan for this database, so if I were to go in here and start doing it, I would probably, 
without having a set plan prior to doing so, I would probably have to go back through and delete things or, re or change things around. So before I start, I would have a plan of how I want this database to be, and then I would go, go into it. Now, there are also tools that you can use as well. So like if I, if I decide I'm going to create something, I can use a um, I can use an aid to help me, but like here it starts out with a table design. If I'm using SharePoint, I can connect as well with that. With the query, I can use a query wizard, and I would just start here. And of course, I don't have any tables, so I can't do this at this point. But um, if I if I save the table, which And we'll just call it by its name, Table 1. And close it. Now, if I use a query wizard, it's just going to have different types. Um, starting out with a simple query, it's going to ask me to select a table. And if you have multiple tables, there will be those tables there and then I select the field so I can select the, the fields that I want to be in the query and then I just go over and I don't have any data I don't, don't have anything to work with so um, this is just to show how to quit do one I'm gonna I'll do another video on a database that I have with data in it. so going back I can also create a form I can start out with the form it it will automatically create one using the table that I have open. So yeah, here it is. Now you know, of course if I have more more data, but I can also create from a blank form or just from a a form in general. It gives me the design. There's different many different options to create a form. Now the form is what you'd use to input data. So this is this is your method of inputting data. Now the query is there so you can extract the data in a different way. You can also create queries with an SQL language that um, that will SQL language that will help you to to manipulate the data in any way you want to. Now, of course, that's going to be more complex and more in depth, but that's just just the beginning. Now, after you put in data, at some point you're going to want to create a report. The report just takes that data and you can you can present that data in in many different ways and especially with the, the older versions of, of access um, the reports were just kind of you know, uh, you know simple very simple but now the reports are, are much better they're, they're much more um, have a, you can prevent provide a much better looking report you can create like for example I, I use it for an invoice when I bill customers I can create a really nice invoice that provides the data that they need that they need for their um, company to present it and that helps a lot um, I'm, I'm down in Brazil so that there's a lot of crazy rules with with the government and you have to so I have to create like a special um, invoice to, to give them that. now so, so this is the basic basics now macros you can create mass macros and these can also be saved into Visual Basic, but the macro is there as tools that you can do multiple functions at the same time. So one of the things that I do is at the end of the week when I'm getting ready to bill a customer, I will apply the data and I'm going to create several different forms that I need to do it. So I have about five different forms for one customer that I have to do. So I use one that creates the the bank um, the bank note that has to be done down here and. You know, there's there's a thing called a there's a tributary document that you have to pay to the city. Just different things like that. So I have to do that each time that I do this, and I cannot make any mistakes because it creates a big problem. So I have this this data together. Now th this is this is just the basics. So like I said, if you if you have anything that you want to know, feel free. I, I would be more than happy to provide more information on what you what you request. I don't know what your business 
business needs. And, you know, therefore, I just want to create this very, very basic um, picture right here of what, what you can do. And you can do, you, you can do a lot with it, and it's really a really good tool for you to use for your business without having, it's, it's simple to use, it's not complex. Um, maybe it may look that way, but once you get into it, it's, it's not so hard. And, you know, being that everyone has different needs, and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this, I want to see what kind of needs they have, so I'll provide you, know, you with free information, and in exchange you can provide me with what some of the needs are out there. That way I can put together a better presentation and a better video. So this is just a start, and um, wish you the best success, and I'm going to look for, for anything. And, and if you have any questions or if you want, to, want any assistance in, in anything that's related to, to logistics and IT, go to g3pl.com. And also you can go to, you can send me an email. Um,